Okay, thank you everyone for checking out another one of my videos. Um, this time I'm talking about a subject that, I mean, I seem to talk about it a lot and I see it mentioned a lot and that is documentary wedding photography. What is it? What does that actually mean? What does it mean to you as couples or to us as photographers? What's the difference? What are you going to get from a documentary wedding photographer? What might you not get? Um, who is it for? Who is it not for? Um, so I'm going to try and cover as much of that as I can. Um, I've got my notes with me, so I uh, will check to them now and again. I'm also going to look through some examples. I'm going to show you some images, talk about the difference, you know, in different types of photographers might do in that situation. Um, and hopefully we'll just clear it up a little bit. It does seem to be everywhere now. If you, you know, you talk to a photographer, or you go on their website, you'll see documentary, natural, reportage, all these, you know, all these different kind of words, and then they all really mean the same thing. Um, that's because it is a popular word at the moment, a buzzword, if you like. So people's websites, people's, you know, whenever you're talking to any photographer, that's what they'll say, and a lot of couples say it as well. And they'll, you know, they'll speak to me or, or they'll, they'll email me and say, yeah, we love, you know, natural. We want in the moment shots. We want this, and then. But when they actually look through photographers' images, they're picking out the ones that aren't actually that. So they think they kind of want that, but they're not, you know, they're actually looking at other images. So I'm going to try and discuss a couple of the options and see what, um, uh, look through some images and see, like, try and get you to understand actually what the difference is. And when you're looking through, a, you know, if you're a couple, uh, you're looking through a photographer's portfolio, looking through some images, you can understand, okay, oh yeah, they are actually documentary or okay, this is what we actually want. And uh, sometimes narrowing down just actually, you know, what you want from your photographer is half the battle. So hopefully this will help. So what actually is documentary wedding photography? Well, this is the definition. Now, it's not a, you know, an actual, this is just one I found online and, and one I happen to agree with, but um, practice of making a, f a photograph which is an accurate representation of its subject. So what does that actually mean then? Well. What we mean by that is, you know, it's actually them. If I, you know, take a picture of you and you're not aware that I'm taking that picture, that's you naturally, isn't it? You know, that's you, whether it's laughing, crying, just doing, you know, something funny, whatever it is, that's you naturally, okay? If I, um, if I ask you, say, okay, oh, that was great. Can you laugh again? Can you come and stand by this window? Can you uh, just wait a sec while I'm doing that dress up? Let me move to here. All these things, and that's not, you know, natural is it that's you doing what i'm telling you to do it might be very similar to the natural pose it might look better you know i'm, I'm not saying it won't but there's some things where you know that's it's not documentary okay it's just not documentary is capturing a natural subject the things i try and think about is these bullet points okay will it make a difference whether i was there or not so if i wasn't there would this still happen okay would this moment this laugh this cry this funny you know incident would this happen anyway or am i because I'm there, is it happening? Am I making it happen? Am I asking someone to be like that, okay? Now, um, I'm not like that, okay? I wanna capture it naturally. I want you know, your smile to be you actually smiling uh, or you laughing or you crying or you being interested in something, not because I'm asking you to or telling you to, uh, not because you feel like you have to because I'm taking your picture, you feel like you have to smile. Uh, I know I'm terrible. If someone points the camera at me um, and says, oh, smile, I'm like, and it's not a great look, you know, whereas if I'm naturally doing it, I think, you know, I still might not like the way I look, but, um, you know, I think it's me naturally doing it and I, and I like that. It also means when I look back on the pictures that I, I'm going to see uh, myself there, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I did actually find that funny, or what am I laughing at there, what is he doing? And that's, you know, how that person is and not how I've made them, so I think that's important. The other reason I like documentary photography so much at weddings is, it's about the day happening as you've planned it and as you've thought about it. All those little incidents, uh, when you look back, let's say, you know, pictures of your grandparents or parents or family, friends, whoever it is at the wedding, you know what they're like in real life, okay? You know if they're the, you know, they sit in the corner at family weddings and don't talk, if they're the first on the dance floor, they're the ones that get drunk first, they're the ones that are always making people laugh, they're the shy ones. You know, you know, they're their character because you know them, they're your friends or your family. So I don't want to then force them into situations or ask them to do things that isn't them because that then the picture's not going to show them as who they are. Um, so that's really for me where that documentary side comes in. As soon as you start, even if it's just, oh, can you just move here a little bit for me or just do this, you're changing that person. They're aware you're taking the picture then, you're setting it up and it's then not going to be them naturally or them who they are. So to me, that's important. Um, 
and that's something I really you know, treasure with the documentary style and that's why I sort of choose to, to photograph that way. Okay, let me look, let's look at a, quick, a couple of quick examples. So I'll show you a couple of images and I'll talk about them um, and what I mean by the documentary side on there and how they might be different if I change the scenario a little bit. Okay, so here's one of the examples. Um, this uh, this picture, uh, picture in particular, you know, it's, it's nothing too crazy, but this is during bride prep recently at Slaley Hall Wedding. Um, you'll see a slideshow from this one um, at the end of the video if you do stick around for it. This this image you can see, I'm behind this bridesmaid here on the right. She's dressed, so the other two, you know, are just about to to get dressed. So this is some of the last ones I took in this room before I left. Now, I, I, I can't remember exactly what was being said here, what was going on, but you can see, you know, this isn't posed. It's not like I've said, okay, can you, you know, wag your finger, make a facial expression like you would, you know, um, you know, naturally, because it just wouldn't happen. Okay, this was whatever they were talking about. Um, you can see that I've got one bridesmaid's pointing, um, and then you've got one with this face, this finger wag. Like, this is her, you know, this is her, how she is. The bride, I'm hoping, um, or the brides in this case, will look back at this and hopefully they'll be like, oh yeah, that's so, um, you know, Lucy or whatever her name is. Um, you know, that's, this is exactly what she's like. That This will just remind us of her. They'll remind you of that morning, take you back there, hopefully make you laugh um, or make you smile. And if I had just said, oh, can you three stand together or, you know, can you do this? Uh, it's just not going to be the same. Um, so, yeah, so this is just, you know, an example during bride prep, you know, documentary coverage. Yes, they know I'm there. This is quite a small room, quite a tight space. You can see I'm quite close to this bridesmaid uh, on the right here. But, you know, again, I've managed to, to sort of, you know, relax, relax them. I've been there a little while now by this point. Um, and they've sort of just got used to me being there, kind of starting to forget now that I'm even there. And I'm managing to capture these uh, expressions of theirs. Again, this, the slideshow for this is actually on my YouTube channel. So if you, if you want to do want to have a quick look through that wedding, then it's over there. This... Um, this is during speeches then, so these are very like impromptu kind of speeches after the food. They hadn't particularly planned anything. Very relaxed wedding, um, really, really good fun. But you can see here, I'm actually knelt down. This is, um, I believe it's the best man. Um, so he's actually um, doing his speech. You can see his hand uh, on the left here. I'm kind of using him to frame a little bit. Here's the bride and the groom. Uh, so the groom is the, the gentleman looking back towards us. You can see uh, they're just, you know, they're looking at him, they're laughing, everything's going on. I'm quite close, you know, here, but I'm just out of the way. No one's uh, thinking about me. They're just laughing at this speech. Um, and again, I really love the connection here of uh, kind of framing him with his hand and me just being able to be there. You know, no direction, no flash, no distractions, just me capturing this moment. Okay, so who's it for and who's it not for? I think the not is, is important as well. I think people, you know, I, I will talk to couples all the time, like, yes, we want this natural documentary, whatever you want to call it, style. We, you know, we don't want to be posing and have to, you know, do all that. But then when, the, you, when you're kind of talking to them down the line, like, actually, oh, yeah, it'd be great if we could go off to here and do this, or could we do that, or here's some images that we like, and they're all, you know, couples posed pictures. And then that's just not... Uh, the, the documentary style, you know, and it's great and it's not, I'm not saying one is right, one is wrong, because um, it's absolutely amazing documentary photographers and amazing photographers who pose people and, and do all that, uh, and obviously a mix of both. But if you want that documentary style, then, you know, for, for me, it's for couples who want to spend the day with their friends, their family, don't want basically any interruption from photography. They want, like say, their images to reflect who they are and, you know, how their day is unfolded, what they plan for their day, um, and just and not what kind of me as a photographer has asked them to do or has arranged. They don't want to send in hours or even 20 minutes stood around taking family f uh, formal pictures. They don't want to be um, going off and doing couples um, sessions and away from the friends and family. They just want the day to flow as they've planned it and they just want amazing pictures at the end of it of their friends, of their family, remembering exactly what is going on. So who is it not for then? Like I say, it's not if you want that, you know, styled photo shoot kind of look. If you want, you know, a lot of posed pictures, you want to go somewhere in particular. There's a lot of great photographers out there who do a lot of posed and, you know, styled shoots almost. And they bring in big flashes and they've got assistants and they're doing all this. And that's great. And the images look amazing if that's what you want. But if you don't want that, 
then obviously if you hire a photographer who does that, you're not gonna get what you want. And vice versa, if you hire a documentary photographer and then you want these posed style shoots, um, then you're not gonna get that. So it's very important to understand the differences and to you know, ultimately pick someone who, you know, whose images you love and whose style you love. Um, it's often, sometimes you can look at a picture and think, oh, it's so natural and, and great, but actually it's not, it's been quite posed and vice versa, you know? So it, it's kind of interesting. Let's have a quick look at a couple more pictures then. I'll show you some that I've taken with couples. Um, and you know, these aren't posed. So I haven't told the couples to do anything, look at each other, move. I haven't, I haven't interacted with them in any way. They are doing them. And I'm just capturing it, okay? Um, so don't think that you can't get, you know, couples pictures in documentary style. They're just gonna look a little bit different, I would say. So let's look at a few and talk about them. You can see here the bride's actually messing around. She's brought, a dress was quite long. She's brought it up onto her head. She's doing, I can't remember exactly what it was she's doing, you know, obviously joking around. And you can see the laughs and reactions from these two um, guests at the wedding. Um, just little moments like this for me. I just, you know, personally, I would look back on these if I was the, the bride or the groom. And I just remember, yeah, this was me being funny. This was me being, you know, who I am naturally. Um, I'm not asking for any of this to happen. And these guests, you know, they'll remember the way they are. Um, and this is what's important for me on the documentary side. So, um, yeah, quite like it's just, you know, another quite funny image. I know I mentioned, um, you know, the couples, couples stuff. So, like I said, I'm not going to take the couple off, do loads of couples portraits or anything like that. Um, I, I will sometimes do a couple of postings, a couple if they really have asked for that. But a lot of people obviously are booking me for that documentary style. Um, that's what they want. That's why they're booking me. This is, uh, they're just actually leaving the ceremony. So if you see the flowers in the background there, that's the ceremony table. They're actually leaving the ceremony. So bride and groom are hand in hand. It's just them. You know, the bride's looking at the groom. They're, they're smiling. They're laughing. Uh, you know, I really love this image. Uh, exactly, you know, no posing. I haven't asked them to hold hands, look at each other, do anything. Uh, they're oblivious to me, but I still think this is a really nice image. And I know, because I've spoken to the couple actually, uh, they, they came over for the wedding, actually live in Dubai, but uh, I spoke to them obviously since delivering the images and you know, they, this, this is the approach they wanted and they absolutely love it. Uh, you know, these are the images that they treasure and they don't want anything posed and that's fake and not them. Um, but that's like I say, not for every couple, but for them that's what they wanted and that is my approach. Um, and they, I know, for, you know they've mentioned that they really love these the images. Okay, so what are all the styles? So, as I say, there's a very grey area because oftentimes photographers, you know, there's always going to be parts of the, the wedding day when there's no pose in anyway, okay? The ceremony, obviously, I, I mean, I haven't ever seen it. I've certainly never heard of it. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's any photographer who's going to interrupt a ceremony to say, oh, can you just move here for the better light? Can you just do this? Can you just do that? Okay, it's not going to happen. The ceremony is going to flow as it flows and you're going to capture that, okay? So that's going to be the same anyway. Where you'll notice the difference is the documentary style, we try and stay you know, out of the way. Like I say, I want the day to be as normal. Now, during bride prep, if we're in a hotel room, like I am here, I'm uh, recording this when I'm out, out for meetings and for weddings like this year in Glasgow. So I'm in a Hilton in Glasgow. Um, if this room was for bride prep and you know there was the bride and five bridesmaids and the, you know, the mother, say, of the bride all in here, it, you know, it's quite tight. I'm trying to move around and capture it. It's obvious that I'm there, okay? It's not like I can't, I can pretend to not be there at all. I can't be invisible, but I try to be as much as I can. I try and put everyone at ease and then just capture it and try not to interrupt in any way. So I'm not gonna move things. I'm not gonna ask people to, oh, that laugh was great. You can do that again. Or, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna interrupt today. I want them to, the bride and, you know, all everyone who's getting ready with her to enjoy her morning, just natural, relaxed. I'm gonna try and capture all the, you know, I'm still capturing the details, the dress, the shoes. I'm still capturing, you know, everyone getting ready. I'm just doing it without interrupting or changing the changing it in any way as best that I can. Um, now, during the family formals, then this is when there's going to be a huge difference. If you're 100% doc documentary, then you'll generally won't do any family portraits. Okay. Now, I I generally won't either, but I do obviously still get a lot of couples. I know when family come together, especially uh, you know these days, there's a lot of family from everywhere. Um, you know, my girlfriend's got a lot of family in Australia, for example. Um, so people come from all over for weddings now, right? So I get that sometimes it's like, you know, we've never haven't had a family picture for a year, five years, 10 years. So I get this nice to do it. And I will still do that if my couples ask for it, of course. Um, so there's gonna be that. And it's just worth checking. If you know you're gonna want family formal pictures, just speak to your photographer, you know, either before you book someone or once you've booked them and say, look, we love, we want the documentary style and we love that. That's the vibe we want for our wedding. 
but we definitely still want some family formal pictures. Okay, and then obviously your photographer will say whether this is something they do or not. Like I say, I will accommodate my couples as best I can. Obviously, I will do that. And I'll try and recommend, look, just pick a few. Um, we can do them quite quickly and then you don't have to worry about them uh, the rest of the day. Um, same with couples portraits. You know, Some people out there are fantastic at the portrait side of it with the couples. Um, but you know, for me, I'm taking them away then. We're taking the couple you know, out of that, whether it's just you know, to a separate part of the grounds, wherever you're getting married, or away, you know, just to a new location. They're away from their friends and family then. There's a lot of stuff going on at the wedding that they're, they're missing out on for these pictures. If you want those couple's portraits, then that's fine because you're happy with that. Um, but if you're looking for a documentary approach, you're not going to get that because that's what, you know, what we want. And I want you to be there with your friends and family and basically don't even think about me and just enjoy the images at the end when you look back and remember the day and relive it through, through that. So for me, that's important. But again, it depends what you want as a couple, so you need to work that out. Um, so let's look through a few more images then. Um, again, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, you know, how I capture them and the style. This is the groom. It's actually hugging. Um, one of the grandfathers on the right here, and then the grandma that she's hugging. Um, again, I'm not you know, posing this. I'm not directing it. I'm not asking them to do anything. Um, you know, This is them, and I, and I know... Um, the fact their grandparents obviously are, you know are, are fairly old like a lot of people's grandparents are and they, they really treasure this image and you know look how happy he is the hug um and yeah i just really love this it's you know a simple image it's, it's nothing crazy but this is that documentary approach that i really like and the moments that i like to capture um so this one uh, again is from the slaley hall wedding that was quite recently you're going to see that if you hang around for the slideshow at the end um, the Dunn Sparkle, there's a Dunn Sparkle exit and again this was actually organised so um, the, the wedding coordinator came out and lit everyone, uh, got some of the guests out, lit their sparklers, they were all stood at the side of each other and they got them to sort of walk through you know as a sparkler exit. So this is quite standard and again th this was organised so you know I'm not going to say no pose involved, nothing from me but from the coordinator but I actually like this shot a lot so this was afterwards they were just they had a few sparklers left so lighting them, you see one of the brides uh, on the right here and then one of the bridesmaids. And it's just walking around, hand in the air. Um, you know, you can see obviously it's really dark at, now outside. This was quite late on towards the end of the wedding. Uh, but again, this, you know, this compared to anything Pose, they love it. They, you know, this is her kind of reaction as a few of these, she was pretending to use a sparkler as a wand. And this was making, you know, this is again, just her personality coming through here of both of these, uh, the bridesmaids and the bride here. And you know they really treasure that, and that's what they wanted, um, and that's sort of what I delivered. And and yeah, I just I just quite like it. Again, it's their personality. They're going to look back on this, and um, and hopefully uh, really enjoy the moment. Okay, so just talking about the couples again as well. This image, um, again, it was captured in the Lake District. So you can see some scenery. They're just walking, and I'm just out of the way here at the side. Again, you know, nothing posed, nothing going on here. I, you know, at times I'm always trying to look for when, you know, I'm looking for where the couple are, what they're doing, how they're interacting. I'm trying to capture these little moments. Um, and, you know, I just quite like the light in this one and the detail in the dress uh, looks really good in this. So, um, and yeah, I just really like the, the general feel of it. So, you know, this is the sort of thing I will try and capture in terms of the, um, the couples. And um, I think they've actually chose this one to go in their album. So they obviously, uh, they obviously do really like it. Okay, in summary then, um, I'm going to play a slideshow, so feel free to hang around if you want to watch that at the end. It's just a slideshow from um, um, a recent wedding, and again, it's just, um, there's, I can't remember how many images in here, but there's, there's quite a lot of images in here. It's a couple of, a couple of minutes long, slideshow from the day, no, nothing posed, nothing, uh, no interaction from me, um, and you know, hopefully you'll, you'll see that it's, you know, it flows really nice, it tells the story of the day. The most important thing I think to understand, especially as a couple or someone planning a wedding, is it doesn't matter which, um, what approach you take, it doesn't matter what photographer you book, providing you love them and it's what you want. The only thing that I, what I don't want you to do or don't want couples to do is to book a photographer thinking, yeah, we want that documentary approach and then you're getting asked to pose and move all day and do all this, that's not what you want, okay? And likewise, if you want these very styled, you know, couples portraits and family family formal photos and you book a documentary photographer and you don't get those you're going to be upset so i just think it's important to understand you know a lot of photographers will say the documentary and they're not so they're just it's a very popular word likewise 
you know, photographers will try and accommodate you as best they can. Um, but it's just important, I think, to look through that, really talk to your photographer and say, okay, I can understand, hopefully you can see from the website, certainly on mine, I mentioned documentary a lot. I explain my approach, videos like this, where I try and get people to understand what it is that they actually want from their wedding photos. But I think it's important for, for you to really understand, okay, what am I getting from my photographer? And if that's what you want, then that's perfect. Just to finish on this video, the documentary side for me, the reason I chose it is because I just love the interactions with people, the friends, the family, and the natural, uh, you know, for me, I don't want to really pose or be stood in front of a camera for a long time. I don't want any of that. I just want to enjoy my day, my friends and family. And, that, and that's why I photograph that way. Because, um, you know, I would enjoy that. That's what I would look for in my wedding pictures. So I want to give that, that to other people. Okay, that's my style. That's how I feel comfortable shooting. And um, it's how I get the best results. But it's not for everyone. It's not for every couple. And I certainly wouldn't want every couple to book me. You know, that's not the purpose I want couples who really want that documentary approach and can understand it to book me and then they're going to get amazing images that they love and you know I'm going to be able to shoot the way that I get the best results. So the main uh, main lesson for today for anyone who's planning a wedding is just understand exactly how your photographer works, speak to them, say what is your style. And if you don't understand you know words like documentary, reportage, natural, styled, you know what, what does it even mean like just speak to your photographer you know ask them say look this is what I actually want. I don't want to be posing during the day or actually I really do want, you know, a style shoot. I do want a lot of family pictures or, um, you know, just work out what it is you actually want and then hopefully that'll help you when you're deciding which photographer to choose. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please stick around and say, I'm just going to play a quick slideshow at the end. So um, hang around for that if you want to just have a look through a recent wedding. Uh, again, nothing posed, nothing fake, d just documentary coverage of the wedding. Um, if you've got any questions, please write a comment below. If you've got, if you want to know more about documentary photography, again, just drop um, a message below. Let me know, um, and check out my website, Instagram. All the links are in the uh, description below, uh, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. Under the sun, you are the one I came across you like a diamond in a cave You had no trouble blowing bubbles once you told me That gravity can get you down Together, don't you know they are my oxygen and I'll never drown? Oh, you're just so beautiful. Together, we can do it all. You're simply beautiful. Together, we can do it all. You're just so beautiful. Just so you know, you're simply beautiful